Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be opening up our Boxy Lux for March 2021. This is a different, it's like an upgrade to the Boxy Charm. So the normal Boxy Charm box that is $25 a month. This one is every three months. It's like an upgrade and you pay an extra $25 or whatever. It ends up being, I think, $49.99. So it's every three months you get a couple extra products for basically twice as much. Um, I don't quite recall how much is in here, how many products. I tried looking up on their website before I started filming. It did not say. However, it does guarantee to be valued at $250 or more. Uh, and yeah, if you are new to my channel, I am a cruelty-free YouTuber, so if at any time while I'm filming I don't know something is cruelty-free, I will do the research and I'll have it displayed right here for you on the screen. But yeah, let's just go ahead and open it up. Okay, so when you open the box, it looks just like this. It's gonna have this little card right here that has a theme for the month, which is a lucky, which is very fitting for St. Patrick's Day that's coming up. On the back side of the card, it's going to have the values of everything inside of here. So I think everything's full size in here. I can't quite remember if there's anything that's not full size. I don't know. I'm really great at doing my job here. I tried looking it up though, because I was like trying to refresh my brain on what's in this box and it, it just didn't tell me. So. I tried. All right, so let's just go ahead and pull out the first thing right on top. This is a palette. It is called Barbarella, and it's from a brand called Bee Beauty, which I've never heard of, but it does say it's cruelty-free on the back. Uh, yeah, never heard of this brand. I don't particularly like the way this palette looks. It kind of looks like it's gonna be like bright and crazy in here, so let's just see what we have. Oh. That is not what I was expecting. So, this is so bizarre. Okay, so let me show you what the palette looks like. There it is. It is actually a pretty neutral palette with like three pops of color. There's a blue, a green, and an orange in there. It, all the names are like guy names, which is fine. Like there's Hugh, there's Nick, there's Pablo, Ryan, Jared. Like, it's all men names, but it's called Barbarella, which I don't know if that means something. Does anybody know? I can look it up, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> it's got 20 shades in here, but it is almost all shimmers. There's one, two, three, four, five mattes, and all the shimmers look the same. Like, they, just looking at this in person, they are all so, so, so similar. I'm not into this palette. Like I generally am into neutral palettes, but this is just not speaking to me. I don't like it. I don't understand it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Why is there guy names? Why is it called Barbarella? I don't know. If you know, let me know. So yeah, I'm going to pass on this. This is just not something I need in my life personally. Uh, let's get a value. $50. Uh-uh. $50 for 20 shades that all look, not all, but... This is not worth $50, in my humble opinion. So this is going to go into a giveaway or onto a friend or not in my life. Okay, let's pull up the next thing. This next thing is from Dominique Cosmetics, which is cruelty-free. This is a creamy fill and define lip liner, and mine is in the shade Crush. There it is. I typically don't use lip liners. It's just not something I feel the need to use the time the only time I really ever use one is if I'm wearing a red lip just because I don't want it to bleed um, but generally in my day-to-day -day life I don't use a lip liner um, let's go ahead and give it a swatch it actually looks quite a bit like the nude I wear day-to-day -day, like when I'm wearing lipstick I'm not wearing it today but if I do wear lipstick when we're not in a pandemic uh, this is looks very similar to the color I do wear. Let me grab that and I want to swatch it right next to it just to see. Okay, so my favorite nude, my perfect nude, is this one from Becca, which, sad, they're going out of business. Like, I may have to stock up on this because I bought so many nudes trying to find the perfect nude after Ulta discontinued their nude that was my favorite. Uh, this is called Truffle. Pretty similar. Like, sorry the sun's starting to go down a little bit. I tried filming, I was going to start filming this earlier and then my battery was dead, so I just started filming when it's not quite as bright out. But anyways, 
Uh, it looks very similar. So while I don't typically use a lip liner, um, I'm glad I got one that is close enough to that lipstick that I love to wear. Uh, let's get a value on that. So $18 for a lip liner. I don't know if I'd pay that personally, just because I'm not into lip liner. So it's not something that I would feel the need to buy or pay $18 for. Okay, moving right along. Let's pull up this thing. This is from Glow Recipe, which is cruelty free. This is the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum, Deep Hydration and Glow. There it is. Interesting. Okay, so this is the bottle. <laughs> Sorry, I'm taking this all in. So it's a little plum bottle. I'm not sure if you can see there's like a line right there, like there is on a plum. The packaging, super cute. 10 out of 10. Oh, oh, so it's a pump. Cute. It kind of smells like a plum, too, or some sort of fruit, which I'm not really typically into in skincare. Like, I don't need my serum to smell fruity, but, you know, I'll use it. I really like the packaging. Okay, and the value on this is $42, which really isn't that bad. Serums tend to be pricey, so I don't think $42 is really that bad of a price for that. Okay, let's just go ahead and pull out the next thing. This is from Half Caked, which is cruelty free. This is three lip fondants. Fondants? Fondants. Um, the packaging looks like a pack of playing cards, which is pretty cute. I have used these in the past. I'm not like the biggest fan of them. Let's see what colors I have here. Pretty decent. Got three colors here. I just don't understand why we're sending lip stuff. Okay, so one matches that lip liner pretty well, but I should have washed off my hands before doing this, but here we go. They do smell cakey, like sweet. So this one right here, I believe is this shade, which is called Theme Song. This one right here is called Low Key. And then the this one right here. Oops, sorry, you can see my text messages. Uh, that one right there is this reddish color in Bordeaux. So, I don't know. I'm not probably going to use these anytime soon just because I'm not really wearing lip colors. Is anybody wearing lip colors? Let me know. Um, but I definitely think I like theme song the best. If you can see, like there's my perfect nude and then there's theme song. So it's kind of close to it. Uh, let's get a value on this. $32 for three, not bad. I don't know if these are full size. They might be. Oh yeah, they are full size. So this is a color I have, which I never use. This is uh, Girl Crush, but yeah, they're full size. They're the same size as that one I have. I need to do a declutter. I have so many lip colors that are the same color. Uh, okay, so yeah, got that. So like I said, I don't think I would pay $32 for it, but that's just me. I'm not paying $10 for a lip gloss. Well, I guess that's not that bad. I don't know. $32, I guess, is not that bad of a price for three full-size lip. They're like uh, li liquid lips is what I would call those. Okay, moving right along. Let's pull this next thing. This is from Olay Henriksen, which I think is cruelty-free. I feel like I've tried a couple things from them, and I believe they are cruelty-free, if I'm remembering correctly. This is the Fat Glow Facial which I don't know what that means. So instantly exfoliates and illuminates. So it's a facial mask. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, yeah, so it's just a face mask. So I'm not gonna pump it out, but it does have a pump, which is nice. It says you apply an even layer to clean dry face, massage until it transforms from pink to white, leave on for 15 minutes, remove with damp washcloth. So I think it's like a chemical exfoliant. Just judging by that, I don't know. It could it could have some sort of grit to it, but uh, yeah, I definitely will give it a go. It's just the kind of thing, because I like to take baths a lot, so this is something that I could like put on when I'm taking a bath and just leave it there, because I don't have time to sit around my house 15 minutes with this on my face. I mean, I do have the time, I just don't want to. Full sizes, sorry, I don't know why I keep saying full size, because these are all full size. Um, value, this is $50, so I don't know if I would pay that personally for basically a face mask, but it could be great. I don't know. I'll have to try it and let you know. 
Okay, let's pull this thing. This is from Soleil. Soleil? I don't know how you said that word. Soleil? I think it's Soleil. This is a mini heat brush, it says. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so here it is. It's just like one of those like straighteners that you use on dry hair. I have an actual normal size one of these, so this is not something I'm gonna use. I don't have it from this brand. I think it's from Laneige, Lange, Laneige, I don't remember, but a uh, coworker gave it to me. So I like that one, I use that, so I don't really need this one. Uh, so yeah, and it's mini, which I don't understand mini tools. Is anybody using minis? Like for hair tools, I just prefer a full size hair tool, not a mini. The value on that is $150. Get out of here. I'm sorry. No, never. Never ever should you ever pay $150 for a hair tool. Okay, maybe there's a couple. Like maybe that Dyson one's really good. I don't know. I haven't tried it. But especially that. Don't. See, that's what makes me mad. So there's $150 value of this box is in a hair tool that's literally not worth that. Rude. Okay, moving right along. This next thing I have is from Tower 28, which I don't think I've tried anything from this brand. It doesn't say anything about being cruelty free, so I'm not sure. Uh, this is a daily rescue facial spray. So I assume it's like one of those things like you wake up in the morning, you spray it on your face. I have something like that that I don't typically use, but so it says use daily AM PM on freshly cleansed skin, let dry before using moisturizer. So yeah, it's like you wash your face and you spray this on and I don't know what it's supposed to do. Maybe the card will tell me. So it's designed to soothe, purify, and renew stressed out skin. It says it has the National Eczema Association's seal of acceptance and is safe for all skin types. So yeah, I don't know if I'll use this. I don't typically have a step where I just spray something on my face unless it's like a setting spray, uh, but maybe I'll give it a try. Uh, let's get a value, 28 bucks. I don't know, I don't know. I don't have really anything to compare it to because I don't typically use those things. The one I have, I'll show you. It's like drugstore. It's the Thayer's uh, Awakening Facial Mist. It's, really, it's got like toner elements to it, but it's, I don't know what, eight bucks at the drugstore probably? Not 28, so that's the one I have that I've tried a couple times. Okay, and we have, looks like one last item in here. This is from Maylee's, which I've never tried anything from this brand. I don't know anything about it. But this is called the B-Flat Firming Belly Cream. Impl improves cellulite appearance, minimize appearance of stretch marks. This is something I'm not going to use. I have stretch marks. I have issues with that. Um, many, many years ago, I was overweight. I lost like 80 pounds, and so I have like loose skin. I have stretch marks. Like I have that stuff that most people have like people have stretch marks it's a part of life skinny people have stretch marks fat people have stretch marks like I think everybody has stretch marks because you can get them from your skin growing this way you can get them from your skin growing this way so you may have them from getting taller you may have them from getting wider like there's nothing wrong with stretch marks I have them all over my stomach I have them all on my arms um and it doesn't bother me like it used to probably when I was younger on my arms especially like I would always wear long sleeves and if you're younger watching this, like, you will probably get to a point where you just don't give a shit anymore. Let's be real. Um, I don't care anymore. It doesn't bother me. I don't think I'm going to use this. This is what it looks like. There's nothing that is going to make my stomach firm. I have literal saggy skin from it stretching and then going down. So, to me... This is ridiculous that this is in here, honestly. Like, I'm kind of pissed that this is in here. I don't need that, and I don't know anybody who does. You're beautiful the way you are. Your skin is your skin. It's an organ. It's the biggest organ on your body. And thank God it's able to stretch that way. Like, I'm not into it. Um, the value on that is $49. You don't need that. You're great the way you are. If you want to have a flatter stomach, 
by all means, have a flatter stomach and maybe that'll help you, but I'm here to tell you that you don't need one. Your stomach's great. Anyways, I'm kind of pissed that that's in here. Like, what if the wrong person got that in their box? What if it was somebody who was like so super insecure and I don't know, like I'm pissed about this, <laughs> this box personally. Like, you don't need that. You don't need that. Anyways, on that note, that's all I have for this box. That's everything I got in it. Um, honestly, this box was not great. The palette sucks. No offense to whoever loves that palette, but for me, not into it. The hair tool is overpriced. It's not valued at $150. I mean, I'm sure that's what it costs on the website, but there's no way. That thing probably costs $4 to make. Um, the lip liner is fine. The skincare stuff is great. The lip stuff's fine, like, but yeah, overall, this just put like a super bad taste in my mouth, and I would love to know what you thought about it, what you, how you would feel if you got a tummy flattening cream in your box. What, what how would that make you feel? Let me know. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and head out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. If you want to see more videos like this for me, more unboxings, more dogs that I should have mentioned. Uh, Josie was chewing on a bone in this video, so if you heard her crunching away, that's what that was. But yeah, if you want to see any more of that, hit that subscribe button right down there, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.